Dragons fans on a four-game losing streak. You're with me, Ben Ibrahim, Ben Sim, injured player from the West Ports Malaysia Dragons, and our courtside reporter, Ruth Ho. But, Ben, the Dragons are struggling. A good start to the year after defeating the defending champions, Ala Filipinas. But then it's been a bit cold and tough lately for the Dragons. What's your opinion from the Dragons camp? Well, I think the Dragons have suffered um, getting back into rhythm, I'd say. And uh, morale has been a bit down since we lost four times in a row. But that being said, we're back at home and we always play well at home. Today's anybody's game. Well, let's have a look at the standings on the table at the moment. Ala Filipinas, the defending champions, looking very, very strong at the top. They've only lost two games, but the Dragons, Ben, in eighth position. And they've won five, lost seven. And CLS, that is very, that table very misleading because CLS Knights on a six-game winning streak. Six-game winning streak. The Dragons on the four-game losing streak. We've got many games left to play. I think we can notch a few more. And, I mean, if we get back into rhythm, we can we can easily get back to seven to the Well, the West Force Malaysia Dragons, they their next five games, and then next week they take on, well, next Sunday, really, after the Chinese New Year break, they, can't, they take on the Macau Black Bears, and then some very, very tough opponents, the Knights again, the Dreamers, the Slingers, and the Dragons will really want a rematch <laughs> against the Singapore Slingers. And for the CLS Knights, on that six-game winning streak at the moment, let's have a look at their next five games. They are playing really, really well at the moment. Maxi Esho having a great season. Maxi Esho last season with the Saigon Heat, and they take on the Black Bears, the Dreamers, the Slingers, the Warriors, and then the Dragons once again. So that could be not. I think that that column there a little bit incorrect. But right now. Let's go to something that is correct. Let's cross over to our courtside reporter from the West Ports Malaysia Dragons, who is with, well, Ruth Ho, who is with both respective coaches. Over to you, Ruth. It was a close neck-to-neck -neck games against the CLS Knights. Now to get back to you on your winning column, what extra mile do you have to do to win today? Yeah, look, uh, for all, all the season so far, really it's about us putting points on the board. Uh, I've been pretty happy with our defence and we've been able to keep teams uh, to lowish scores. Um, so yeah, we actually we're going to put the ball in the hole. We've got to score more points. We have to get you know, 80 plus points um, for us to, to get more wins. All right, thank you very much, Coach, and all the best for today. And right now, I'm with Coach Brian of the CLS Knights. Coach, congratulations on your six-game winning streak. Though against the Dragons, it was a really close game, and the Dragons did out-rebound the team by 10. What mistakes do you need to avoid to win today? That's one of them. Uh, we have to concentrate on rebounding better. Uh, I just told my guys in the locker room that we have to all box out, and we need all five players to rebound. All right, thank you very much, Coach, and all the best. Let's back to you guys. Thank you very much, Ruth. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering if that was a technical mistake, it was not. That's our producers giving you a Chinese New Year Dragon special. A bit of Dragon's highlights before the interview with Ruth Ho. A worse interview with the respective coaches. Wasn't that a very nice surprise, Ben? Oh, yeah, it was. Well, well surprises. Well, the best surprises come when they're unexpected. So the Dragons tonight, Ben. They can get the win, but will you guys win tonight? What's the belief like in the camp? Um, obviously, I mentioned earlier, the morale is a bit down right now since we lost four in a row. But that being said, we only lost three points to the CLS Knights. And well, let's look at the previous game. This game could have gone either way. The Dragons, they were up and they were up by at least six points at one stage. But really, the, Chris Eversley, he had a pretty decent game. 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists. But really, 
Ben, in my opinion, some of the local guys really need to step up when they're given the opportunity to play. Um, I'd say that Coach Amy hasn't used the bench too deep yet, but um, that being said, a lot of players on the, on the bench right now, they, they're itching to go on the court and prove their worth. Chris Eversley, he's the veteran of the team, 27 years of age, very positive. He'll make a great coach one day, and he's already coaching as well. No Shifai, not a young man anymore, 30 years of age. He's a veteran, he's playing very well, one of the best locals in the league. Yes, he is, and he's a knockdown shooter, as you can see here. He knocks down threes as, as soon as he's open. 17 points, and... He's really learned how to manage his injuries over the years. He had a very bad knee injury in season 2013, and that changed his rhythm and form. But look at that, great cut, drive to the cup, and Lo Shifai really, really stepping up, getting better game by game. The CLS Knights, Brandon Jawato, he's had a very, very, well, pretty decent season. The former, the former University of Hawaii player, 12.4 points, averaging 12.4 points per game this season, averaging four rebounds, six foot four. Some websites say six foot three, but I asked him tonight. He is six foot four and a great young talent. Yeah, Brandon Zawaro actually played in the States. I think he was playing in the University of. Um, where is that? So he played in uh, California, and uh, he did pretty well there. And, uh, obviously. Well, this man right here, here Maxi Esho, he cannot do anything wrong. He was the player of the game in the game against that victory with the Dragons. 21 points and 8 rebounds. At 6 foot 9, such a young man. So hard to stop, isn't he, Ben? Yeah, he is a very versatile guy. He gets a lot of rebounds and he runs the floor. Well, and look at this. That dunk throws it down. Amazing. Very athletic. He uses his size. So the play is now coming on for Lo Shifai right there. And Nana Egu, he's had a very good season, good shooter as well. And Winston Shepard, the best player for the Dragons this season, don't you agree? So just sorry about that everyone. We're having a bit of a sound difficulty at the moment. And ben Sim, uh, injured Westport's Malaysia Dragons player. Uh, you must be itching to get back out there, Ben. Yeah, it's been frustrating watching the past few games. My team has been doing really well. And um, there's uh, three referees right there. One from Singapore. We got Mr. Chuen Wing Leong from Singapore. Ray Nute Kufana from the Philippines. And also Frida Muong. Wong Mi from Thailand. So very, very much multinational talent tonight. The referees always having a big job to play in the respective games. And it's not an easy job being the men and women with the whistle in this game, Ben, whether you're in the ABL or any league around the world. Yeah, that's for sure. You're never on. You're, nobody ever says good job when you make a good call. <laughs> <laughs> well, our referees, they try very, very hard. They work very hard. And in my opinion, they do a pretty good job. So. There's the Dragons fans smiling as always, hoping for a win tonight. Don't forget, it's Chinese. It's today was a public holiday in Kuala Lumpur, Federal Territory Day, and then it's the weekend. And on a Monday, a lot of people in Malaysia will not be working because Chinese New Year is next Tuesday and Wednesday. The starting five before the Chinese New Year break: Chris Eversley, Nana Egu, Lo Shifai, Ching Cheng Hua, and Winston Shepherd, and no Jonathan Wong, Ben. Well, Jonathan was, has been in a slump the past three games, and uh, I, I think coach made a good call. Wa is very hardworking. He plays very good defense, and he, he knocks some shots as well. So, Well, good. Jonathan Wong, he really, really is itching to start. He's hoping to... I spoke to him to get, before the game, and he said he wants to prove a point that he wants to... I mean, to himself, he wants to prove a point to himself that he wants to play, and he played the form that he was in at the start of January 2019. There's Coach Brian right there. And he was the 31st pick, or the 34th pick, shall I say, in the NBA draft in 1987, almost 32 years ago, by the Indiana Pacers. And Coach Jamie Perlman, very much a defense coach, such a great coach. And 
many people, not just within the Dragons, outside the Dragons Ben, have said he's doing an outstanding job. Yeah, we limit teams to, we try to limit teams to scoring below 80 points a game. But that being said, we suffer a lot. We don't score a lot as well. So that's something we gotta fix, try to fix tonight if we wanna win the game. So we are just over 50 seconds away. The informed CLS Knights, can they get their seventh consecutive victory? One way long. That man right there, he knows a lot about winning and keeping the momentum going. The Dragons at the moment, egos are a little bit shattered. Confidence is a little bit low. But if the Dragons can have the lead and play two-way basketball, Ben, they're in with a very strong chance to win this game. Yeah, we always win the game when, we, when we're when playing with a lead. And, you know, we don't do well playing catch-up. Definitely not. I mean, and something about the dra this Dragons team, Ben, always in the fourth quarter, they mount the charge, or you guys mount the charge. <laughs> What's the thinking behind that? Any theories? Well, I think, you know, at the fourth, it's now or never. You either put it all now and win the game, or you just sit back, the other team will take it. This is the ABL. Nothing comes easy. So the Dragons right now getting ready. The referees with a big, well, one with a big smile on their face, ready to go. And no surprise to the starting five for the CLS Knights. Wong Wei Long, Maxi Esho, Brendan Jawato. And then you got Doug Herring Jr., very nice guy. Spoke to him before the game. He's got two children. He likes to wish his two children, sends his two children all the very best of love. And of course, the big man there, Daryl Watkins, at 34 years of age, still putting in a very, very good shift. Or shift, should I say, Daryl Watkins. Yeah, he plays with a lot of experience. Got an MVP a few times in Europe. And um, well, he def the, the experience definitely translates to his game in the ABL. Well, Nana Egu wants a little bit of payback to Daryl Watkins. Watkins really bossed him around in the previous game. Don't forget the previous game was just a few nights ago on Wednesday night this week, two nights ago to be exact. It's a quick turnaround. There's no time wasting in ABL basketball. Let's get on with the job. Herring with the ball. Herring. Esho, thought about the long three, turnover right there, there was a lot of turnovers on Wednesday night game this week. The Dragons want to protect the ball, Shepard has had a great season, very much missed the production for the Dragons, Egu, she fights inside to Shepard, Shepard drives, yes! With the finger roll, Winston Shepard. Oh, Shepard using, making very great use of his length to get the easy two on Jawato. Jawato, screened by Watkins, set by Watkins, Jawato. And that ball came, looked like it came off Eversley, but did it. No nope. court advantage. <laughs> <laughs> so. Did not come up for separately. Referee said otherwise. In real time, it looked that way, but good eyes by the ref. Egwu. Dragons just slowing it down. Shepard. Shepard thought about the pull up. we got to watch the shot clock. Egwu, one on one with. Ooh. Got to put it up right now. Oh, Chris Eversley. Pumped up about that one. From downtown. Joe, no, not Joe, I do the ball now. Watkins from the baseline. Egwu needs to put, put his hands up. What a three, good shot there by Jawato. He was open, that's what happens when you try to double team someone. You leave another man open, and Jawato did punish from that double team right there on Watkins. Ever Oh, the bump right there, good cut, good pass. Dragons taking their time a bit. Egwu hits the 10. Eversley with a putback. Well done, Chris Eversley. There was a mismatch right there. Him and Doug Herring. And Eversley, the bigger player. I reckon that was a pretty sluggish play by the Dragons. We don't want to take those shots. And now Watkins with a putback of his own. Got a body up. 
Shepard. Shepard. Ooh, Shepard tried to work glass and the and try to get the hoop in the harm. Look at that look by Winston Shepard. He wants to get on with it. Not satisfied at the moment. He had a pretty good game against CLS on Wednesday night this week. Winston Shepard, 23 points. And also seven rebounds. Next one. Winston Shepard, a 56% free throw shooter. He makes his first one. He's getting better from the charity stripe, Ben. Yeah, he is. He's put in the work. He's a good guy. Winston Shepard breaks the second one. We spoke too soon. He's working hard. Keep working hard, Winston Shepard. Play good defense, like Coach Jamie Perlman says. Four to three. Hits the tin. Shepard with the rebound. He doesn't want to go coast to coast. Steal there by Esho. Tries to pass it to Egu earlier. Esho, facilitator. Kicks out. Herring. Esho again. Let's stay with him for the pull up. Oh, Maxi Esho. Well done. Can't give him an open look. He's an all round threat, Maxi Esho. Big guy who handles the ball well and who shoots quite well as well. Egu. And I, Chris Eversley with an easy rebound. He's a bit stuck in a bit of traffic. Eversley works glass and in. Chris Eversley, great start by the Seaman. Yeah, he's doing great. He's using his size to play in the paint where he's comfortable at. Long way long. Great bounce pass, kick out. Herring knocks that down to level it up right here at Maba Stadium. Shifai. Shifai, gotta be careful. Dragons, Shifai gets tried to get his own miss. And Chin Cheng Hua tried, went for the pass. That was a great look by um, Chin Cheng Hua. Unfortunate miss by Lou Shifai. That's what we need from the locals. Locals need to step up. Only three imports this season per team. Herring. Esho fake. Esho. And that looked like there was a blocking foul call. And Winston Shepard. Very knows it as well. Here we see Win Esho going up using his length. Got the foul from Winston. Unlucky one there, Winston. Got a body up. Great pull, a bit too much on that one. Great vision by Watkins. And a big shout out to Daryl Watkins' children, Leia, Tian, and Nail, his three children. Daddy's a great player. Happy to have him. Shepard. Out, Eversley thought about the three, Eversley. Oh, good block, good defense by CLS. Here they come in transition, Way Long. He's got a body up on him, he's a very good shooter. Way Long, and he will go to the charity stripe for two shots. Wong Way Long, the man who played for the Singapore Slingers, well, for the most part of his career. Oh, there we see Way Long making use of uh, Nana's he used his speed to get past Nana. He couldn't catch up and committed a foul. Long way long, 77% from the free throw line. A talented, he's not so young anymore, he's 30 now. I can't believe that when I first started commentating <laughs> that Wong Wei Long and Lo Shi Fai were 22 years of age. Now they're both 30. Goes to show you that we all are getting old. Wong Wei Long gives the CLS Knights the lead. Wong Wei Long just won mid-season best local player. But Wong Wei Long not playing as an import because of his Indonesian heritage in this team. CLS lead for the very first time tonight by two points. Dragons can level it up, almost lost the ball. Jonathan Wong now on court. Can he prove that point to himself that he is a consistent player? Eversley step back, hits the tin. Coach Bryan saying, get going. Pull up right there. Eversley with the rebound. Shepard asking for the ball. Shepard, great pass. Jonathan, Jonathan kicks out. Swing, low Shifai. 
Oh. Well, Chris Eversley gets the ball back. Great pass. No, she five scores from underneath the basket. The man who just turned 30 not too long ago. Esho. 12 apiece right now. Nobody out rebounding each other. Dragons got to be careful with defense. Herring bounce pass to Esho. Double team. Esho. Esho. A good job. Maxi Esho. Great control right there by the big man. Very good patience by Esho right there. He waits for everybody to jump, and he makes use of that. He gets the easy two. Smart basketball player, Maxi Esho. Eversley. Justin Shepard. Yes! From downtown. And the Dragons regain the lead. Great shot by Winston Shepard. Very great, very good call. Ooh. Daryl Watkins with the dunk. The CLS Knights who are sitting behind the CLS bench come alive. Shepard asking for the ball. Nobody cutting in. Can he hit another big three? Wong. In and out. Eversley. Great pass, spin. Oh, there's a bit of a bit of trash talking that Jawato. That was quick. Jawato having words with Shepard. Ooh, very aggressive foul by uh, Jawato right there. I think uh, Juwato was reacting to Shepard, flinging back the arm. <laughs> so he wasn't too happy about that one. Let's see what the refs call. Well, the refs this season are very quick with the technicals. Because they want to send out a message to the players. They won't tolerate any of that kind of behavior. But with good reason, I mean, in a aggressive game, you want to keep everybody in check. Well, let's try to have a listen to the respective be benches. Let's have a look at the highlights right here. Ben Sim, good Jamie Pullman, quite positive about what he's seeing at the moment. Chris Eversley having a good game. Yeah, Chris Eversley made a few good defensive plays and obviously a few great shots as well. But um, Dragons is struggling to find any form of rhythm in their offense. On the other side, uh, Indonesia really rushing their offense, getting really quick points, playing very aggressive in the paint as well. A long way long, showing his experience at 30. Not a young player anymore, but he still plays like he's really young. And Lo Shi Fai as well. I guess Lo Shi Fai, Wang Wei Long, very experienced local players. Big role models, even for myself. So the Dragons want to keep pushing. They really, really want a victory. And Mono Vampire recently recruiting Tyler Lamb to play for Mono Vampire. Great shooter. Great shooter, but still, surprisingly, they did not beat the Wolf Warriors. Well, I, mean, I mean, they just got together, so I mean, we give them yeah. a few games to gel in. But if I was a coach, I would love to have Tyler Lamb on my team. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Great six foot six, can shoot the ball, can play defense, and he's a good guy as well. Really a lot, lot of respect for Tyler Lamb. Tyler, if you're watching, can't wait to have you in Malaysia to see you again, bro. So Winston Shepard, a foul right there, earlier committed by Brandon Jawato. Brandon Jawato's father, Balinese, his mother, from America. So Winston Shepard ties it up right here. Every time I look at Winston Shepard, I think of Skylar Spencer. <laughs> Both. Both Aztecs, San Diego State. Winston Shepard and I always say we have some. Winston Shepard to the bench. Let's see what the Dragons can do without him. Drive! 
Long way long, couldn't finish right there. Chris Eversley, a little bit more of a facilitator today. So far, before in this first quarter. Yoshi five, bounce pass. Jonathan Wong, player of the game against Ala Pinipinas this season. Jonathan Wong, tried to work glass. Watkins with the rebound. Here's Esho, the former Saigon Heat. Esho, Esho. Oh, well done, Maxi Esho. I had no doubt that he would finish that. Such a great player. And he's really, he said to me before the game that it's a different team because he's he, he, at Saigon last season, he played more than five. Eversley, Dragons got the shooting jitters at the moment. And this happens to the Dragons some, uh, a lot of times. Ben, like, you know, sometimes they're shooting so well, and then all of a sudden, it just goes cold like it did against Hong Kong in that fourth quarter where the Dragons lost right here at Maba Stadium in January this year. Yeah, that is true. I mean, um, Dragons, not a very good scoring team. We don't usually score more than 80, but um, we try very hard. Ching Cheng Hua in and out. Maxi Esho there with the rebound. He just gets on with it. Almost lost the ball. For Niawan now on court, the team captain. He's such a skinny guy, I call him Beanpole. But a very nice guy, Sandy Kurniawan. Sea game silver medalist two years ago, right here in Malaysia. That was, the, that was a great game against, between Thailand and Singapore. And he made some big, big shots in that game. That Thailand team was coached by Piyokong Pirun, who's an ABL champion in season 2014. What a long three. It's the tin. Dragons need a bucket. Over one minute and 20 seconds to go. There's show. Eversley trying to play defense. Long way long. Herring. Asking for some separation. Watkins kicks out the Herring. Herring for the long three. Eversley. Dragons like to say, Ben, slow it down, grind it out. That's very much Coach Jamie Perlman's basketball. Don't be rushed, be patient. Get a good open look. Well, that's right. I mean, you know, you know, scoring, start to regroup. Jonathan here for the two. Oh, he makes it. And one, Jonathan Wong with a hoop in the heart, announcing that he's back on court. He's really trying to prove a point, you can see. Well, he just said he's got he's got this uh, he's got this swagger about him, Ben. That I just like. It's some might call it arrogance, but I call it belief. Well, I like it. I mean, he plays with confidence, and he steps up when he needs to. He's stepping up right now. Well, he told me before the game, I've got a kiasu side in me. Kiasu meaning he hates to lose. <laughs> so let that kiasu spirit be here for all four quarters tonight. Good guy, John Wong. Very serious man off the court, but quite a jovial fella as well. Oh, there's a foul right there. That was great defense by Chin. Offensive foul. Oh, yeah, great defense by Chin for the offensive foul. But, uh, That's smart basketball. Herring putting a bit of a shoulder there, so not too happy with the call. Don't forget, CLS Knights travel to Malaysia without number 15, Jan Misael Panangan. I was asking Arif Hidayat about why he didn't make the trip. He said that's part of their rotations for away oh, okay. games. So it is expensive, <laughs> let's be fair, to bring down a full team. Yeah, it is. So some teams have done that in the past, just, you know, rotations, save a little bit of money, and which players need more game time. So the CLS, they can say that because they're on a good winning streak at the moment. Playing some great basketball, shooting the ball quite well, especially one way long. Wong. Jonathan Wong on one way long. Is that great pass? C5 for the three. Low C5 knocks it down. That's a great look by Jonathan to see C5 in the corner. C5, if you catch fire, Dragons is really in the game. The big Ooh. shot right there by Watkins to make this 
a two-point ball game. Dragons just really thought they could, they had the lead, and they did. But you can't give these the CLS team open looks. They'll punish you because they shoot the ball quite well. Yeah, they're very competitive. Everyone on the team is a very good shooter. Um, you know, they're a high-scoring team. That's all we can expect. Let's try to have a listen. Uh, but let's have a look at the highlights first. Our uh, producer wants to go to the highlights. And Jonathan that missed there by Jonathan Wong. Yeah, not able to convert that one. The Esho really doing it all for the, the Knights. Scoring that confidently. Chin Wong, great defensive player. Not able to get that, that three. Herring, spot up shooter. Not able to get that one. Chris, back here to Jonathan. For the two, the N1. Great call by Jonathan. Here we see Jamie, of course, our coach. So have a listen right here. So let's see what happens in the second quarter. A pretty good quarter by both teams, Ben, but the Dragons not consistent on defense. And that's why, I mean, and you must give credit to CLS shooting the ball quite well. Yeah, um, both sides still struggling to get any form of rhythm, I'd say, in, the, in terms of shooting. They're making shots for sure. And they're playing good defense. Uh, average D scoring game. 23-21 with uh, West Coast up by two. We'll see who catches fire first. Well, the Dragons, uh, they, have they made a change? Yes, they brought on Chin Zi Shin, number 30. He's, he's on the court right now. Can he? It's good minutes. Drives, misses that. Chin Ching Wah. Herring, such a good point guard. Quite an experienced player. Off ball foul. Herring, Cornell one. Kicks out. Kicks out again. Good rebounding by CLS. Good footwork. Ooh. Oh, there's a travel right there. And well done to Dragons for staying quite disciplined. Now that's Febri Utomo who turned the ball over. He's a good shooter, Febri Utomo. But took too many steps right there. Ruth Ho, our courtside reporter, has some comments for us. What's going on, Ruth? Thanks very much, Ruth. Dragon's got to hang on to the ball better. That's a bit sloppy still. And for the floater right there, yes! Jonathan Wong, oh, it almost went out. Yeah, he makes that one. You know, I mean, the confidence is really showing now. Kuniawan, the sharpshooter. 
Screened by Esho. Esho, the man who loves his tattoos. Great pass. And that was pretty, some pretty good defense by the Dragons on Watkins. Yeah, I reckon it was a good take by Lo Shi Fai. I mean, it's reasonable to commit a foul when Watkins is going to go up with the easy two, making money from the charity strike. And Daryl Watkins, the father of three, played for the New Orleans Hornets in season 2012, played with the Iowa Energy in the NBA D League. And he's also played in a number of countries as an import. Most notably Belgium, France. And he's had, he's had stints with the Clippers and the Spurs, so great CV. Great CV, a lot of experience. And that's what you need with the younger locals especially. Wong. Wong tried to go for, tried to just go for the placement right there. Air show. Still a close game. It's going to be close all quarters. Oh. And Wong, foul committed by Jonathan Wong. Yeah, that was a little bit too aggressive. Uh, uh, Notice a pull over there. Wasn't necessary. He could have got back in front. There we see the shove. Maxi Esho, a bit of a history about him. University of Massachusetts. He's from Washington. He's also played in the D League. First free throw today. 77% from the line. He averaged 27 points per game last season when he played for the Saigon Heat. He was 26 last year, 27 this year. He played more of a center, makes that to make this a one point ball game. Dragon's gonna keep, put, keep, keep pushing away at this Ben. Keep getting the production. Just keep going for it, don't let anything get in their way psychologically. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're playing with uh, two imports now. Winston's still on the bench. Locals just have to step up. We say that a lot. I yeah. mean, you've been given an opportunity. Take it. I remember once upon a time. And now Winston Shepard going to check back in. And Jin Cheng Wa on the bench. Winston Shepard, it looks like he's carrying a little bit of an injury there. Hope he's okay. Chris Evers on the baseline. Got to watch that shot clock. Shepard pulls up, hits the tin. Egu couldn't get the rebound. Long way long right here. And the CLS Knights hit a bucket. Screened by Esho. Esho asking for the ball. From the baseline, yes, great shot by Febri Utomo, the man from Surabaya. The man who's currently an entrepreneur as well and wants to be a, a big entrepreneur in the future. Eversley, good steal. Well, good defense, CLS Knights. Long way long. Can he punish? Shepard. Dragons look a bit off rhythm. Winston Shepard, Egwu pulls up for the three. Winston Shepard with the rebound, drives, can't finish. And Daryl Watkins asking, was that a foul on me? Well, I see Winston going up for the two. Slight shove, got out of balance. Yeah, I reckon it's a foul. 50-50 call, if you ask me. And the CLS Knights lead. Slightly, and just about seven minutes to go. Both teams having a chat. Have a look at some highlights here. And starts we with see Chin going Chin up. Chin yeah, not being able to make that one. Watkins obviously getting the rebound. Jonathan Wong playing with a little bit more confidence compared to the last game. Gets the easy two. All the bench getting all riled up, riled up as well. And um, Oshi Fai, good call there. Coming in with a foul on uh, Watkins, not giving him the easy two. And Febri Utomo, great shooter, but nails the two. And 
There's Coco Negrojo. He, he, on paper, he is a, a senior coach with this team. Coach Brian Rosum. Rousem or some sketch lead coach Rousem right there. Very experienced, very nice, very nice man. Good gentlemanly swagger about him. Very polite, very courteous. Very tall, very tall, intimidating presence as well. He's very much all about defense and run on offense. So his CLS team playing some good basketball lately. Eversleep tried to feed, bounce pass it to Egu, here they come in transition. No look pass away way long. Kick out, Esho thought about the three. Step back three. Watkins with the rebound. Way long. He's played one and two. Esho from the baseline. Kick out. Kurniawan. Sandy Kurniawan, just like he did in the SEA Games two years ago. Shepard. Calling for a shirts call. Eversley foul. But be an inbound. Well, Dragons got to do something about their turnovers. I mean, CLS Knight is really punishing us on all our turnovers, scoring off them. Well, turnovers, in my opinion, cost the Dragons a few nights ago on Wednesday night this week. And they had 19 turnovers compared to 13 overs turnovers by the CLS Knights a couple of nights ago. And don't forget, it was a very, very close game. Dragons need a basket. Fake earlier, Eversley. Shepard. Winston Shepard, just as I say that, the Superman of the Dragons. Stretches his wings. Winston Shepard's second three of the night. It's pretty good. Well, he's had a good season, almost with the steal there. Good movement by CLS. Tap, Shepard. There's a mismatch right there, but he's got Esho in front of him. Tries to do the Euro step. No, nope, couldn't finish right there. Esho, very quite quick for a big man. Jonathan Wong tried to get the steal off Esho earlier. Esho, mismatch on Eversley. Deflection. Shepard asking for the ball. Pass it to Shepard. Eversley, unselfish pass by Winston Shepard to give the Dragons the lead. Well, Dragons playing for a lot more rhythm now, doing what they do best, getting points off transition. Much better by the West Coast Malaysia Dragons. Here we see um, the pass to Sandy at the side for the pocket three. Very sharp shooter, Sandy. Chris Eversley, pass to Winston Shepard, answers Sandy's three right back. Well, she fired a pass to Winston, very unselfish play. Dragon doing what they do best, scoring off transition. Winston Shepard with 11 points. Jonathan Wong with five points. Lo Shi Fai with five points. What a, a much better improvement and some adjustments made, Ben, by the Dragons. Yeah, Winston Shepard is shooting really great tonight. He's predominantly a 10% three point shooter, but he's tonight. He's shooting two out of three. That's great. Esho. Esho. Couldn't finish right there. Shepard. One to three. It's the ten. Egu with a putback. CLS needs to rebound better. Yeah, it's very sloppy defense by uh, CLS Nice. They got to do something about that. Another game slipping out of their hands right now. You are never underestimate the CLS Nice. Way long. And great bucket right there by Fernando Negrojo. 
the son of Coco Negrojo. Makes this one point game. These two teams quite evenly matched, in my opinion. Shepard. Egwu trying to set the screen. Shepard. Is that a travel call? Look like a travel call, to be fair. Ben, what's your, what is your IC? No, I reckon that was good. No. He took off with one. He took two more steps. <laughs> FIBA new rules. <laughs> well, man, you're the man on the floor, so... And you can't... Uh, tell us about your injury. How far are you away from playing? I reckon I'm about 90% there. 90%. Uh, I'll, I'll play the game after Chinese New Year against Macau. But okay. I hope to just ease myself in. I'm, not, I'm excited. I'm very excited. All right. Well, we can't... Sad to see you go. Hope to see you play and hitting big shots. Don't forget to say, come, give me a high five if you're playing on fire. Oh, for sure. In the com in the commentator's box. So, Winston Shepard with 12 points. Eversley with a tap. Well done. Dragons got the ball back. Shepard who missed the second free throw there earlier. Able with the screen to try to get some separation. Crossover. Thought about the pull up. Eversley hits the tin. Two point lead. Jawato quite quiet in this game for CLS. CLS asking for the ball. Herring. Good screen there by Watkins. Gotta stay with Watkins. Gotta stay with Watkins. Good pick and roll action by CLS. Very unselfish play right there, and uh, Watkins using his size and flexibility to get. What did I say? Reverse. Stay with Watkins. Once yeah, he sets Watkins. the screen, stay with him. Pull up right there from the corner. It's the tin. Dragons. That's that hot and cold Dragons again. Hot. Earlier shooting, now cold now. We'll find that rhythm. Yeah, CLS starting to pick up their game, playing better defense and uh, translating a good offense. Well, that's how Coach Brian likes to run it. Start from defense, keep it tight. Screen again set by Watkins. Drive. G5 with the ball. Here he comes. No look past the Shepard. G5 open. Going to the corner to try to load up and pull up if he has to. Eversley. Time on the shot clock. Shepard. Oh. oh. And that's a backcourt violation right there. Too much on that by Shepard in terms of the pass. Very sloppy offense by Dragons right now. And um, obviously still continuing those turnovers. It's hurting, hurting their game a lot. Herring, the father of two. Misses his kids, loves his kids to bits, he told me. Way long. Way long, oh, good shot there by Way Long. That's experience right there. That is very, very, you know, experienced scoop, I'd say. And CLS now in front once again. Because the Dragons had about a four, five point lead. How quickly things change in basketball. G5, Eversley. Good def this is very good defense by the CLS Knights. I must give them credit. Yeah, they're playing great defense right now. Everyone's moving on the floor, filling up the space, empty spaces, and uh, forcing turnovers. Dragons just got to put a, get a handle on it again. Eversley thought about it. Eversley, oh, that was way too ambitious by Chris Eversley. Ruth Ho has some comments for us. What's going on, Ruth? CLS game plan, they need to play the process more where they slow down the pace and take later shots. Back to you guys. Way long. Chris, thank you, Ruth. Eversley wants to get on with it. Dragons are not fans of trailing in a game, and they've trailed quite a bit. And they've had some very, very tough assignments lately on the road, Ben. Hong Kong, Alab. Good teams. Yeah, I mean, fatigue starts to sink in, obviously, when you play so many away games. And uh, Dragons, uh, they're doing all right on defense, but um, offensively speaking, struggling a bit, say, to get a bit of flow. See Jonathan there, not making a shot, but Nana is getting his first bucket of the ninth.
Coach Jamie trying to press on with his defensive mindset. Obviously, Indonesia doing very well on offense. Watkins, you know, <laughs> you mentioned earlier, if he screens you, he's gonna get it. Wang Wei Long, experience. Oh, tough call there. Could have gotten, could have gotten a foul. So the Dragons now need to really, really run some better offense. Because, but take nothing away from the CLS Knights. Our friendly neighbors, Dari Indonesia. As we say in Malaysia, Dari Indonesia means from Indonesia. Don't forget Bahasa Malaysia and Bahasa Indonesia are very, very identical languages for those of you who are aware. Shepard. She fight, what about it? Chi Cheng Hua, kick out. Has it, a bit of, I see a bit of hesitation here by the Dragons. Chi Cheng Hua, a lot of hesitation right there. Got to take the shot, got to put it up now. For the shot, Eversley. And Chin Cheng Hua went flying for the rebound. Chris, ooh, the like contact there, continuation, says the referee. Fake. Here's Eversley, he's got numbers. Oh my gosh, what happened right there? Oh, everybody's losing the ball. Who wants it? Who can finish Wong Wei Long? That's how you shoot Wong Wei Long. He is still the same player he has always been. A great shooter, a great runner, and a fantastic basketball player to watch to give the CLS Knights a five-point lead. It was tough to watch as the Dragon right there because um, we did so well on offense, but we just didn't convert on our... I mean, we did so well on defense, we just didn't, didn't manage to convert on offense. And obviously, they punished us even more by getting a three. Stretch the lead. One way long's first three-pointer of the game, but I think he's just been doing that all career long. I mean, yeah. Yeah, don't forget, he's played in two. He's played in the two ABL final series: once against Hong Kong, once against Malaysia. ABL best local in season 2014 MVP. Winston Shepherd. Dragons need some production. Just a two. Egu. Nana Egu. I mean, I, I just felt, in my personal opinion, in his last game, he wasn't himself. What, what do you think, Ben? I don't think he's himself in this game as well. He's not really converting much points, and that was that was a great pass by Winston. He should have caught it. Just my take. Well, he's... I mean, don't want to criticize him too much. He's hit some big shots yes. this season as well for he a big has. man. So he's just getting that groove, getting that confidence back. Herring. Can he inflict more pain on the Dragons? Shepard. Once he moves those feet quickly, you gotta get worried if you're on the if you're the opponent. Eversley. Dragons need to penetrate. Shepard. Running out of options. Go for the pull. No hesitation again by Chin Cheng Hua. Shi Fai. Tried to get his own miss. And CLS will just take their time a bit. Crossover, drive, yes! Doug Herring Jr. And the CLS Knights have a seven point lead going into half time. A 9 0 run, impressive by the team from Indonesia. That is half time at the moment. We gotta give them credit. Ben, they were good in the second quarter. Oh, that was great. I mean, they played awesome defense. You can see here Winston Shepard trying to go up with two. Dang, was that one? Uh, Coach Jamie not happy about a few calls. But this man right here, Asho, doing it all for the Knights. Getting easy twos, rebounds. Oh, 
angle. Still struggling to get any form of rhythm in the game. The Dragons overall I mean, playing very sloppy offense. Still using his size and under, undersize uh, Jonathan Wong. Jonathan Wong going up for the two, getting the end one. This man right here needs to step up. There he goes again. Floats, gets another one. And Sandy, you know, he makes those shots in the sneaks. <laughs> can expect him to miss that one, that free open one in the corner. Roshi 5, the wins, the Shepherd, the easy 2. See how that's nice, very, very good offense. Punishing us inside on the paint and outside on the 3. Perry at the end of the second quarter getting a 2. Well, thanks for that, Ben. At the end of the first half, it is the CLS Knights with a seven-point lead over the West Force Malaysia Dragons, 40 to 33. We're just going to take our first break of tonight. But when we come back, the second half of the game between the Dragons and the Knights, right here on the ASEAN Basketball League. We'll see you soon. Okay, everyone, welcome back to the game between the West Force Malaysia Dragons and the CLS Knights right here at Mabar Stadium, part of the ASEAN Basketball League. The ninth season, you're with me, Ben Ibrahim, Ben Sim, and Ruth Ho, and Ben, the Dragons, pour in to the end of the second quarter. Yeah, the Dragons didn't finish well in the second quarter. Um, CLS obviously finished on a 9-0 run to put themselves in a seven-point lead. So can CLS keep, get, you know, really getting more production? Dragons need to hold on to the ball much, much better. Way long. Great start here by CLS. One way long. He loves it. Ten-point game now, biggest lead for CLS. In this game, Shepard. Egg with the screen, kick out. She five for the long three. That's much better by the Dragons. Low she five, knocks it down. There she Joato has had a very, very quiet game. Three points only. He's got a very interesting background though. And one way long. He fouled on the three-point line, Ben. No, I think he fouled when he drives in, so it should be a side ball. It's cool. One way along with 10 points in this game thus far. Great control by CLS. Came off Shifai. Watkins. Winston Shepard frustrated right there. Dragons up by nine. Gotta keep going. Energy, effort, and execution. Can Dragons execute? Not executing off very well offensively. 37% in the first half. There's hesitation right there. It's the iron. Esho with the rebound. And this could get ugly for the Dragons if shots continue not to go down. Cornell on. Pass right there, but he needs help preservously. Skip pass. Low she fi low she fi Looks like that was a clean block. Well done. Good defense, CLS. You gotta pick your moments right there. Long way long. And I keep saying this, Ben, but I don't want to sound like a broken record. Great defense, CLS. Great defense. Yeah, and, uh, way long. Punishing. The slower low she fire, making him commit a third foul. Gotta be careful. Moments like this, you want Ben Sim on the court, <laughs> not in the commentator's box if you're a Dragon's friend. It's a foul right there. Still it's a nice. foul. And ben Sim, do you have a Superman cape at home? I wish I did. You right wish now. you had. You could fly in. Yeah. No kryptonite. So, you know, this Marble Court, kryptonite free. 
So let's see the lighter side of the injury. Contestant athlete's patience. Wrong way long. Off balance. And wrong way long. I see a very different wrong way long this season, Ben. He's usually a bit quiet when he was with the Singapore Slingers, but he's a lot more chatty. Maybe it's the age, maybe it's the experience. What do you think? It's experience and uh, definitely confidence as well. I mean, with that kind of experience and confidence, it goes a long way. And it shows tonight, for sure. He's making shots, he's driving in, making great calls. Wong Wei Long, the engineer. He didn't play last season. He's still running his basketball camp and clinic. He's very passionate about that. He played the longest time with the Singapore Slingers. He went to Nanyang Technological University. He's 30 now, but he still has not shown any dip in form. He's been very consistent over the years as he got better and better under coach Yo Ben Siang of the Singapore Slingers and Michael Johnson. General manager. Swing, swing. Eversley for the three. Hits the iron. Way long with the rebound. Dragons trying to press way long. And it comes up as sure. Good press by Dragons. The Dragon, shall I say. By Chin Cheng Hua and Jonathan Wong. Yeah, Dragons still not able to find uh, rhythm on offense. They're playing good defense, though. Really putting it out there. Pull up right there. It's the 10. Oh, almost. Shepard tried, but he could not rebound. Watkins, the big Watkins at seven foot. Joato, Esho. Sorry. Maxi Esho. And that's Dragon Ball. I thought, I thought Coach Bryan had a case. I thought that was CLS Ball, Ben. Yeah, but um, I mean, Nana didn't try to go for it, so I'm pretty sure he. He knew it was their ball. Ben Sim trying to see the love of the dragon side. <laughs> and yeah. me, Ben Ibrahim, trying to be as objective as possible. Eversley. Shepard. Egwu asking for the ball after that screen, but didn't quite click very quickly. Eversley got to put it up now. Shot clock. Eversley. No. Watkins with the rebound. Way long. Let's move the ball well. Ooh, a bit too fast, though. CLS Knights making a few mistakes here and there. Dragons extremely cold in this quarter, Ben. Yeah, both teams playing a pretty sluggish offense right now, but uh, well, it's still early in the third quarter. Shepard, not a natural point guard. But doing a pretty good job for the injuries that the Dragons have got at the moment. No Sundiat against. Chin Cheng Hua, Chin Cheng Hua, blocked by Esho. Here they come in transition. Watkins asking for the ball, Herring. Yes. Lays it in, Doug Herring Jr. CLS keep pounding on the pain. For the Dragons, Ben. Oh, the Knights playing very good defense and you know, converting that into great offense. They're doing what they do. I mean, the Knights are very, very quick. Here we see Lo Shifai putting up a three to answer Wei Long's three early on. Uh, Winston Shepard, Lo Shifai not being able to get the rebound there. Giving Watkins the easy two. Coach Brian, please, this team at this point. Knights really punishing the Dragons. Tough call right there, but uh, we see um, Wa trying to make something out of play, getting denied. Let's have a listen here. CLS Knights currently on an 8-3 run. Oh, Putting itself...
Well, it isn't pretty if you're a Dragons fan. No, Let's be honest, 12-point lead by the Knights. We didn't see this on Wednesday night this week, just two nights ago. It was very tight the whole way. The Dragons hit the lead at times. CLS hit the lead. The biggest lead by the Dragons that night was by six points. The biggest lead by CLS that night was eight points. In my opinion, turnovers was the, the issue and decision-making at times by the Dragons. And Chris Eversley trying to really, really get his men going. He was recruit, recruited also because of his leadership capabilities. Shepard, Egwu, very quiet this week. I just see a lot of hesitation in the Dragons game shooting wise, especially by the locals. It's a learning process though. Good defense and Chris Everton stopped that CLS run. Makes this a 10 point ball game once again. Bounce pass, Herring. Herring, oh well done Herring, he just drove to the cup. He's trying to get in the face of Shepard earlier. It's good discipline by CLS. Egu. Shepard, good cut, drive, yes! Excellent by Chris Eversley. Great cut and an even better finish. Well, Chris did very well recognize the, the guy trading behind him. He drove straight to the rim. That was Jawado's third foul. And here we see Walk us through this. Shepard with the ball. Passing to Chris for the cut. Chris Emsley converts the three-point play. Brendan Jawada's got to be careful, like you said. He had 11 points two nights ago against the Dragons. But never underestimate him. He's a decent shooter as well. Wong Wei Long, a great shooter. Esho can shoot as well. This team blessed with shooters. And as I say that, Mexi Esho knocks it down from downtown. Looks like the Dragons are struggling to stay with the CLS Knights. Eversley, good defense again. Esho. Way long. Lost the ball right there. Shifai. To Wong. And he hit a big shot right here. It's a high arcing shot. Gets his own miss. Jonathan Wong. Slowing it down a little bit. Egwu with the screen, Wong, Wong! Jonathan Wong, that's what he loves to do. That move won the Dragons the game against Alam last month. Dragons so gonna play two-way basketball, good cut, Esho! Esho, similar move to Chris Eversley. Yeah, that was a very similar move, actually. Very poor defense, though, by the Dragons. They gotta do something to step it up, they wanna stay in the game. Eversley trying to carry this a bit, a bit too much. Eversley couldn't finish right there. Egu, that's much better by Nana Egu. Surprising, well, not surprisingly, only four points in this game by Big Nana. And, so, and the Dragons band, in my opinion, struggling to guard Doug Herring Jr. Oh, he's a really quick and really shifty player. And uh, he knows how to make use of his speed to get past all our, our slower guards. Uh, tough call there, I mean. That was a tough call. And, and let's find out a little bit about Doug Herring Jr. He went to Utica College, a Division Three college in America. He studied business management, undrafted in the 2004 NBA draft. He's a dual champion in Canada. Played for the London Lightning and the Bristol Flyers in the British Basketball League. He's played basketball in Uruguay and he went to high school in New York. So, oh, <laughs> gotta be careful there, Chris Eversley. Three minutes and 28 seconds left. And CLS Knights have just extended this lead. Dragons tried, trying everything. It's not through a lack of effort, but just cohesion, 
communication and offensive execution. Very, very inconsistent and at times invisible, Ben Sim. Yeah, they had a good start, but they didn't really uh, play it consistently from there on. And uh, defense was, I'd say, pretty off as well. CLS had a good run at the end of the second quarter. Big Dragons need a big player to step up right now. Who can it be? Shifai with the screen. Eversley trying to do everything himself. Pull up right there. Hits the tin. Eversley can't. CLS rebounding very, very well at the moment. Love to see the stats on that. Oh, here we see Ron with that drive. Got a foul again. What do you think are the rebound stats on that? Ben Simmons, do you think it's like a big difference? I think uh, I think the I think both teams are pretty on par in terms of rebounds. Uh, let's see for sure though. Um, uh, the CLS out rebounded the Dragons right now, 27-22. So uh, that really shows. Most of those I reckon are offensive rebounds because yeah. they got a lot of pick up and putbacks. Yeah, I do agree. Long way long right here. Enjoying his Indonesia experience at the moment. A bit, a bit inconsistent from the charity strike. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not the one way long I know. That's not him for sure. <laughs> Looks like he's shooting better threes than free throws. Yeah. <laughs> he loves that that three point line. Wong Wei Long. One out of two right there. Knights up by 13 with three minutes to go in this quarter. Dragons, very famous or infamous, no, infamously known or famously known for that fourth quarter charge. But that charge needs to start now. Shepard from the baseline. Eversley was trying to cut in. Shepard oh, gets his own miss. Shepard couldn't finish right there. Egu asking for the ball. And there was a foul right there. Winston Shepard and Chris Eversley really carrying this team at the moment. Chris Eversley with 14 points. Winston Shepard with 12 points. And Daryl Watkins with 13 points. Wong Wei Long with 12 points. Not much game time for the locals of the CLS team. It's a bit of a shame. Hoping to see more of them. Turnover right there. Herring, the flash. Gotta stay with him. Step back. It's the tin. Dragons were lucky that he missed that shot. If not, that would have inflicted more pain. Not just on the Dragons players, but the fans as well. The fans asking for the Dragons to move and charge. Bring out the fire. Egwu. Shepard, triple team. Egwu open. Can he hit the three? No. Lost the ball, Eversley. Here comes Esho. He's had a great game, the player of the game two nights ago. Hanging on to the ball. Ali Oop, no. Egu, no, came up Egu, so it will be CLS ball. Oh, here we see uh, Watkins going up. Good contest by Nana Egu. Not, be, not able to put a hand on the ball, though. Drops out of bounds. Herring, Watkins. Great offensive and defensive player. Moving around well, kick out. Utomo, Utomo! Fabri, Utomo! And this is not a pretty scoreboard if you're a Dragons fans. If you're just joining us, if you're recording this game and this is the time you keep your mouth quiet and don't say anything to your <laughs> friend watching the pre uh, the game later. You can record this on RTM. Baseline two by Egwu. Eversley tried to go for the putback. Nothing going down for the Dragons at the moment. It's the CLS show right here in Malaysia. Esho. Rebound there by the Dragons. Slow in transition. They need to get moving. Over 50 seconds to go in this quarter. Jonathan Wong, come at the man, come at the hour, just like against Alap. The, the Dragons need you, sir. Good defense here again by CLS. 
Eversley and one. Chris Eversley. The moment the Dragons needed a player to step up, it's Chris Eversley, the veteran, the young veteran. Chris using his body to get up. Got the friendly roll for the N1. That was Watkins' third foul at this point. Well, if Daryl Watkins gets fouled out, that's going to even things up for the Dragons because he's such a rebounding weapon. That's true, uh, but the Dragons need a big, huge fourth quarter to get back in this game. So Watkins on the bench. Can the Dragons really, really run at the Knights and make them put their swords down so the Dragons can breathe a bit of fire back into this game? But before that, make sure the ball is dry. Thank you, Mr. Referee. Chris Eversley, the sports management man who does sports coaching on the side while being a Dragons player, development coach. Pull up right there. Oh, just as the Dragons got some confidence back, CLS just punished. And that's what happens when you don't play two-way basketball. Shepard tried to stop the clock there earlier, but the clock is running. And Shepard. Shepard just trying to slow it down. Screen there by Eversley. Eversley wants the ball. Shepard, no, too high. But he heaves it. Oh, almost. <laughs> well, nothing much has changed in this quarter. CLS full of confidence. Look at that. Long way long. It's like a megaphone got stuck in his mouth and he's just talking away. Oh, he's playing with huge confidence. CLS punishing dragons ball after ball. Oh, here we see Loshi Fai answering. But not being able to convert most of our shots. That pass there by uh, CLS is wow. Very hesitant. Not on that one though. Went out but got blocked. Herring going up for the easy two. CLS nice playing with a lot more poise in the third. Uh, Chris Eversley cutting, getting the end one. One thing's for sure, uh, CLS is playing like a different team, shooting 50% from the three-point line. Uh, Esho, Watkins. Chris trying to get back, get us back in the game, doing what he can. Uh, let's tune in to Coach Jamie here and see what it has, what he's drawing up in the fourth quarter. So it is a very, very tough quarter. If you're trying to say, well done to CLS, to all our viewers in Indonesia, apa kabar? Assalamualaikum. Hope you're enjoying your CLS nights. They're playing a very, very good game at the moment. Really, really playing some good defense. Moving the ball well, moving, running down the court. And they are up by, well, 17 points at the moment. Impressive, but this game not over. The Dragons known for that fourth quarter push. Ben, will they do it? Will they bring on that fourth quarter charge that sometimes worked for them this season? Well, Dragons, being a smaller team, less experience, they hustle, and they hustle hard. Hustling goes a long way, and let's hope that, 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 that things go that way in the fourth quarter. They're down pretty deep, though. Yeah. So, still no Darren Watkins, the man with... Well, Darren Watkins, the man with 13 points at the moment. And Dragons looking frustrated, but they gotta chip, keep chipping away at it. Shepard is also trying to trying his best to give the Dragons everything in terms of production. Like Coach Jamie Pullman said in an interview, gotta find a way to keep scoring, and that's the way to do it. Bank shot, banks open in this corner. Very tough shot by Chris Eversley right there against two people in front of his face. Makes the bucket though. 
Got to play defense now. Dragons need to get that stop. Beverly Otomo shooting very well. I knew he would shoot well in this game. He shot very well in the warm-up. Almost a turnover there by CLS. Esho. Oh, a bit too much there. He tried to feed it to Wong Wei Long in the corner. Is this the start of that fourth quarter push that the Dragons are uh, famous for? Egwu thought about the screen. Eversley. Shepard thought about the three. Ever lost the ball, but Eversley there for the long three. Chris Eversley knocks it down to give the Dragons some fire. Joato out of bounds. Yep, good call. Chris Eversley looking like a man possessed to win this game for the home team, the West Sports Malaysia Dragons. Can he do it? Will he do it? For the Dragons, we'll soon find out. But it's a basketball, it's a team game. Needs all around presence and performance. Well, this is the energy we need. We need um, people to run the floor, play good defense, convert a good offense, get us back in the game. Chris Eversley tried to pass it to the corner. Thought it was off Jawato, but Jawato kept it in. One way long. Kick out. Utomo thought about it. Jawato. Body up. Dragons need to body up. That's a bit better. It's much way long. Esho. Esho. Good defense. Shepard. Looks like the Dragons have taken the leap out of CLS's nice book. Pull up and shoot. Yes! That's the way to shoot it! What a big shot by the West Boss Malaysia Dragons! Oh, great shot by Wojek there. I mean, he played, that was a very confident shot. He needed to take that. I think that was the first, his first bucket in the ABL as well. I, we were just feeling the frustration of the Dragons fans sitting behind us. Dragons on an 8-0 run, Ben. Is that fourth quarter here to stay? Oh, it's definitely starting. It's definitely starting, and it's hope it's here to stay. The Dragons are nine points away from coming back into this game. Chris Eversley with the shot to bank. Uh, Coach Jamie not happy to give a call. But, uh, he's all about the next play mentality. Right? Chris doing it all in the fourth quarter with five straight points. Dragons with much improved defense. And there we just mentioned the ball by Yek. Have a listen right here. Way long. He's been very inconsistent from the charity strike, but he's still a great player to have on your team. <coughs> if I was a coach, I'd love to have one way long. <coughs> and this coach Brian there must be very proud of what his team has achieved this season. Slow start, but some great talent in this team. Some pretty good locals as well, guys like Sandy Kuniawan and Febri Utomo. Watkins now. Back on court. Can he make the difference again? Watkins, good block by Egu. The Dragons playing with more urgency right now at the moment. Eversley, Wong. Can he hit a big sh big shots in this quarter? Eversley, gotta watch that shot clock. Just take the shot. Fake from the baseline, hits the tin. Now, CLS just trying to slow it down a bit. They're up by nine. Herring is quick. Yeah. Doug Herring Jr. to the charity stripe once again. Here we see Herring driving in on the out of position. Yeah. Great block by Nana, though, to save. He had 13 points and four rebounds a couple of nights ago against the Dragons. 76% from the charity stripe. Bricks that. 
The Dragons fans love it. So if he hits this, it will be the Knights up by 10 points. Lots of time left in this game. And it is that 10 point lead that they have been used to in the third quarter, the CLS Knights. Eversley, look at him, he's playing with some entertainment swagger. I love it when he does it. Egu. Shepard. Shepard gets his own miss. Shepard. Yeah. Oh, that's a goal, Ted. So, two points because of the goal, Ted. Winston Shepard making use of his length, going up. Could have been an N1, I'd say, but uh, no call there. Watkins. Watkins with a hook shot. Well done, Darrell Watkins. He's just a bit big and strong. I can't believe he's 34 years of age, but he looks after himself well. Very nice guy as well. Family man. 10 point game. Shepard. Jonathan Wong asking for it. And a hook shot by Winston Shepard. Jonathan Wong was asking for it to spot up and shoot. Just got to stay with Wong way long and body up on him, Jonathan Wong. The two Wongs. Joato. Or oh, turnover. Here they come. The Dragons got numbers. But. CLS got that back, stole that back. Stay with Herring. He's quick, lightning quick. Got some moves as well. Herring! I told you about his crafty moves. A yeah, very smart play there. He kept Yaka his back and uh, very good body control to finish. He's been a menace for the Dragons, but he's been great to watch today. Doug Herring Jr. I asked him about what's his biggest challenge in life. He said kids. kids. Having them <laughs> is a loving thing, but feeding them and looking after them. And no pun intended, he, he was being very honest with me. And what was the call right there with Nana Egu better keep quiet. Well, here we see Winston going up. Didn't get a call there, I think. He was mouthing some stuff. And the refs were having none of that. That's two shots. Definitely. That will hurt the Dragons. But what do you think, Ben? Can the Dragons at least bring it to a whistle it until the CLS Knights lead to four points? Well, um, 10 points away, five minutes, that's tough. And uh, Winston just got ejected. It's his was his, that was his second technical foul. Dragons very much, still very much in this game with 10 points uh, being 10 points down. Let's hope something happens. Well, don't forget, the West Coast Malaysia Dragons defeated Alam Filipinas without, with, without Winston Shepard, with only two imports in their team. American yeah. imports. With that being said, uh, Dragons need to play with a lot more confidence. And I, I keep emphasizing this, the locals really need to step up. When the import's down, that's when you get the opportunity to take over the game, show what you're worth. And don't forget, that same you know, second second foul, second te te technical foul. Was it a technical foul? Yeah, it was a technical second foul. Technical foul. So that same thing happened to Mike Taylor. In oh, the yeah. <laughs> World Warriors game, when the Dragons won that game, Dragons got a scrappy win that day. It wasn't pretty, but they got it. So the mission has gotten tougher. It's not impossible, but they have to do it without their best player of the game, Winston Shepard, who's now going to the locker room for an early shower. Yeah. So um, how did you see that, Ben? I did not expect um, Winston <laughs> to keep yapping on when uh, he got the first technical foul. But that being said, it's all about it's all about um, stepping up and uh, proving your worth right now for the Dragons. Yeah. 
He gets the shot and they'll get the ball back. The CLS Knights. 70 to 59. 11 point lead for CLS Knights. The Dragons, no Winston Shepard. Who's come in? No Shifai, Jonathan Wong. And you also got Ye Liang Chien. Chris Eversley step back, in and out, long way long. He's got speed to burn. Long way long, playing with some great leadership and more confidence compared to the, he goes for the three, can he punish? Eversley, Wong, Wong making the call as the point guard. Egu, everybody's gonna step up, play smart basketball. Gotta watch that shot clock, hesitation again. Step back three, it's the iron. There's Yeh with the rebound. Just go for it, boys. That's what the fans are asking, Egu with the screen. Good double team there, Egu, no look pass. Four to three. This is very reminiscent of the Hong Kong game last month. Good pass, kick out. Four to three, long way long. Dragons yeah. need to play with a bit more urgency. Uh, they were around. playing in urgency, in my opinion, in this fourth quarter, but yeah, they, they just look dejected at the moment with the loss of their best production player, the player who has given them the most production, Winston Shepard. Uh, you gotta, you gotta make the adjustments. You won't have everything your way. Someone gets injured. Someone gets fouled out. Well, as Coach Jamie always says, focus on the next play. Don't think of, don't dwell on the past. Focus on the next play. That's good Keep advice. Your head up. The, I think that some of the Dragons guys are dwelling on it too much. But I must, I must say, CLS have played really, really well. Guys like Pedro Otomo chipping away at it for CLS Knights. He's had five points tonight. And the very crucial five points. Watkins, good cut there. Jawato, yes! Brandon Jawato finally comes alive. The man who went to the University of Hawaii. 15 point lead. Just gonna take a three, but Wong says no. Nope. I'll kick it out. Four to three, hits the iron. Nothing going down for the Dragons. Wong way long, clear. Oh, that was not needed. Wong way long hurt his head. Coach Brian, he was gliding to the basket. That was not a good move by. Yeah, Liang Qian. Looks very winded there, one way long. Hope he's okay. And the medical team having a look at him. Just puts on that band and gets on with the job. Jonathan Wong just saying, sorry, bro. We didn't mean it. He's a very tough guy. <laughs> that was a pretty big fall. It's a huge fall. He should get up. two shots and... Chris Eversley having some words there. There was a double foul call right there. Some of the players look a bit confused there, but in about the calls by the refs. Yeah, not too sure what the call was actually. Is it double foul? Well, they do do that from time to time. They see two fouls and they'll do that. 
Well, I mean, tall feet for the Dragons to climb their way back up. Three minutes left on the clock, down 14 points. Yeah, it's running out of time, not looking great. Not playing with a sense of urgency as well. That's really hurting us right now. Well, the Dragons need to look at themselves in the mirror after this game, basketball-wise and not basketball-wise. Sometimes, in my opinion, I mean, I'm not part of the team inside the locker room, but sometimes you do smell when there's a bit of difference of opinion, non-cohesion non issues. I mean, and it's tough when you're on a losing streak. I remember in season 2012, I think the Dragons went on a seven-game losing streak because Tyrus Wade and Brian Williams was injured, and the management decided at that time not to bring in well, they tried to bring in a few backup players, fill-ins, but it didn't work. And finishing is an issue for the Dragons. Coach Jamie Pullman not standing up. His coaches, I think they know that they have been defeated. But they have been defeated by a very good CLS team who played two-way basketball today. Yeah, I mean, nothing's dropping for the Dragons, I'd say. And um, Indonesia is playing with a lot of poise keeping themselves in the game, ultimately punishing Dragons for every turnover, shooting so well, one way long, three threes this game. 77 to 61 in favor of the CLS Knights. We approach the, almost the last two minutes of this game. Dragons just want to close out strong, make this a respectable scoreline. Can they do that? But they need some big shots. Loshifai for the two, Nana Egu, and just that hustle, that rebound hustle by the CLS Knights. Absolutely amazing tonight. Well done, CLS. Well coached by Coach Brian. If they win this game officially, this will be their seventh consecutive win. And they take on Singapore on Sunday at 4 p.m. And if they're playing like this, Ben, they've got a chance to beat Singapore, who are playing quite well this season, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. I mean, coming off this kind of confidence, a seven straight win, adjusting to every team and beating them ultimately, that's great. Turnovers. Turnovers a huge issue. Turnovers a huge issue for the Dragons in this game, just like the last game. And Let's have a look at the turnover stats here. 11 turnovers tonight. It felt like a little bit more, didn't it, Ben? It felt like a whole lot more. I mean, there were a whole lot more deflections for sure. But um, Dragons are really cold in the shooting with 35% field goal percentage. One way long, though, man of the hour, shooting well, all the threes. Well, the mathematics don't lie. CLS, if you said the Dragons were shooting 35%. Yep. CLS. 52% and that's why they're up quite comfortably down the stretch of this game up by 16 points on the Dragons home floor right here at Mabar Stadium. The Dragons there looking extremely, extremely dejected. CLS and I, led by Wong Wei Long, very fired up. But Sandy Krinelwan, the official team captain of this CLS, very talented. CLS team. You know, you look at this CLS team, Ben, you really wonder. They're only in seventh position. They've won eight games lo and lost seven games, but after tonight, they'll win nine games, seven. So, playing quite well. Hitting some nice form towards the business end of the season. Yeah, but that being said, Still pretty early. I think we we're about halfway there at this point. Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, don't forget the season goes by. It feels like it just glides after the after Christmas and New Year. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, still pretty early to tell though, like the final standings. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's really P starting to show though. Yeah, it is. It is. And PJ Ramos of Alap Filipinas having a great Stepping season. Up the big giant. Sure. He's a Superman. Shifai lost the ball. No, got the ball back. Can he pass it? Good defense. Well done, here comes Herring, will he punish? Watkins! Yes! Well done, Darren Watkins. My vote for player of the game, or it's gonna be him a long way long. Eversley. Eversley. Lost it, Wong. Hesitation, Shifai, Wong, just take the shot. 
Not like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's dropping at all. Well, I'm just trying to see the positive side of it. For the Dragons, it's it's the tough, it's a tough time for them. They're learning a lot of them. So the Esho with the dunk and just hangs off the rim. The rub salt into the wounds. 20 points. They're up by. Indeed, it is a bit of a. It's going to be a blowout victory for the CLS Knights, and they deserve this. Egwu with a dunk of his own, but a little bit too late. Long way long, long way long, look at that. Deflection, no. Who wants, got the ball. And uh, on the positive side, Ye Liang Chien has put in some positive minutes. Not many minutes, but you know, he hit a three. Yeah, he bit did of well. hustle. He, he played a lot, I mean, uh, he hustled a lot, that's for sure. Made a great three. And shots not going down. Wong pulls up right there. Jonathan Wong, again, a little bit too late. This to make the scoreboard as respectable as they can, the Dragons, with 39.7 seconds left. But just after, towards the end of the second quarter, CLS Knights just found another gear. They kept finding another gear and up and up, and it all started just from that D word, defense. Yep, the Dragons couldn't keep up. Sorry, Ben. Maxi Esho flew to the cup with the dunk, with the hammer. Wong, nobody. Eversley. But Wong. Wong lost to the Egu. Egu puts it in. So, CLS with the ball, they're going to close it out. Pull up, no. Do they punish or do they get a shot? Yes! Oh, uh, don't count though. Do they count? Maxi Air shows 83 to 68. West Ports Malaysia Dragons, their fifth consecutive loss. And it's not pretty right here in the land of the West Ports Malaysia Dragons. And let's have some look at the highlights right here, Ben. Can we give a round of applause? Dragons trying to find rhythm in their offense. There we see Winston. Getting the easy two, but he got um, ejected somewhere in the fourth quarter though. CLS Knights doing it all on the floor today, playing great offense, great defense, really punishing the Dragons for every turnover they make, every mistake. Coach Brian obviously very happy with his team tonight. This blowout victory. And, um, Asho going up with a strong dunk. So, Ruth, the final score right here, the CLS Knights, 83. The West Force Malaysia Dragons, 68. Winston Shepard got ejected from this game. But apart from that, CLS were already quite comfortable in front bend and playing great, some very, very good basketball. It was only head-to-head -head in the first quarter, I reckon. Where, I mean, Dragons played the best offense in the first quarter, but from there, they, they pretty much struggled. And um, it was tough to watch, I'd say. Uh, Wong Wei Long, really saying hello to the crowd. Jonathan Wong shaking his hand. Thanks very much, Ruth, and congratulations to Daryl Watkins and Coach Brian. They should be very proud of that victory, not just today, but the, what they've the type of basketball that they're playing this season, Ben, they very, very much deserve today's victory. I mean, it all starts with a streak. Who knows what happens in the playoffs after that? I mean, they're playing great. You know. From what I see, they deserve a spot in the top five. But that's my call. I'm a player. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say stuff like that. <laughs> no, yeah. you are. That's your opinion. Anyway, everyone, 
Congratulations to the CLS Knights and to the West Boss Malaysia Dragons, not just to the team, but the fans. We hope the Dragons will bounce back very, very soon. They've got a big game next Sunday right here at Marba Stadium. So make sure you join us. But on behalf of Ben Sim, Ruth Ho, Kelvin Lim, myself, Ben Ibrahim, everybody here at the Dragons and RTM, we'd like to thank you for being with us and we'll catch you at the next game on this wonderful league, the ASEAN Basketball League. We'll catch you next time, everyone. Have a great weekend. Kong Fa Choi to all our viewers celebrating Chinese New Year.